Ever pondered why some individuals always seem to play the victim? This is a question many have asked, and the answer often lies in what we call the insecurity trap. The insecurity trap is a vicious cycle, where a person's inner insecurities lead them to consistently blame others, particularly their significant others, for their own shortcomings. So, what exactly is this insecurity trap? It's a mental state where an individual allows their insecurities to control their actions and emotions. These insecurities could stem from various sources, such as past traumas, fear of rejection, or feelings of inadequacy. Instead of addressing these insecurities, individuals trapped in this cycle tend to externalize them, pointing fingers at others for their own problems and failures. This blame shifting is a defense mechanism, a way to avoid confronting their own insecurities. It's easier to place the blame on someone else than to look inward and address the root cause of the problem. The insecurity trap then becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy where the individual continuously finds reasons to feel victimized, thus reinforcing their insecurities. This can lead to a toxic cycle of negativity where the individual perpetually sees themselves as the victim, blaming their significant other for their feelings of insecurity and inadequacy. This blame shifting can strain relationships, leading to resentment, frustration and, in some cases, the dissolution of the relationship itself. But it's important to understand that the insecurity trap is not a life sentence. It's a cycle that can be broken. It takes self-awareness, courage and a willingness to confront one's insecurities head on. It's about taking responsibility for one's actions and emotions, rather than projecting them onto others. Recognizing these traits is the first step to breaking free from the insecurity trap. It's about acknowledging that the problem lies within, not outside. It's about understanding that change starts from within, that the power to break free from this cycle of insecurity and blame shifting lies in your hands. So are you ready to take that first step? Recognizing these traits is the first step to breaking free from the insecurity trap. Awareness is key. Here are the seven warning signs of an overly insecure individual with a victim mentality. First off, they have a constant need to look for and find what's wrong in a situation or relationship instead of appreciating everything that's good and currently going great, no matter how big or small. Their internal insecurities has them fearful of things being too good to be true, so that fear causes them to think to themselves, something has to be wrong when it comes to things in their relationship with their significant other even though their spouse has done nothing to deserve such treatment. They think to themselves, he has to be cheating or doing something nefarious or inappropriate behind my back. They frequently look for and find something whether real or perceived to nitpick about, or a make up a reason in their minds to hurl a non-founded accusation of infidelity against their partner. This never-ending cycle of fear driving them to, in effect, sabotage their relationship with negative views and unfounded accusations towards their partner stems from deep-seated insecurities and often leads to an outwardly projection of an overall negative view onto their partner. The second sign is the tendency to blame others for their own personal actions based off their impulsive negative behaviour due to acting off their insecure feelings. This is a clear indication of an individual refusing to take responsibility for their actions. Instead of acknowledging their mistakes based off their insecurities, they project their actions onto others. Whether it's an accusation by them proven false by their partner, a failed relationship, an issue with a family member or even a minor mishap, it's always someone else's fault, never theirs. Our third warning sign is the refusal to take responsibility. This is closely tied to the second sign, but it's more about the individual's inability to see their own role in a situation. They lack the maturity or awareness to admit when they have done something wrong. Instead, they play the blame game, pointing fingers at their partner and everyone else. Fourth on our list is the perpetual feeling of being attacked or targeted. These individuals often perceive the slightest criticism, even if it's constructive, as a personal attack. They feel the need to constantly defend themselves, even when there's no threat. This defensive mechanism is a shield to protect themselves from their own insecurities. Fifth, we have the lack of self-confidence. This trait is quite evident in overly insecure individuals. 
they often doubt their abilities and second-guess their decisions. They fear failure and rejection, which often prevents them from trying new things or taking risks. This fear can limit their potential and hinder their personal growth. The sixth sign is the tendency to overreact to minor issues. These individuals often blow things out of proportion, turning a molehill into a mountain. A small disagreement can escalate into a major conflict, and a minor setback can be perceived as a life-altering catastrophe. This overreaction is a manifestation of their internal turmoil and emotional instability. Lastly, we have the need for constant reassurance. Overly insecure individuals often seek validation and approval from others. They need to be continually told that they are loved, valued and appreciated. This constant need for reassurance is a sign of their lack of self-esteem and self-worth. Identifying these traits in oneself or others can be a game changer. It's the first step towards understanding and addressing the issues at hand. Remember, it's not about blaming or shaming, but about acknowledging these traits and working towards personal growth and healthier relationships. Insecurities don't just affect the individual, they affect their relationships too. The ripples of insecurity and the victim mentality can often extend beyond the individual, reaching into their relationships and creating a toxic environment. Picture a relationship as a delicate balance. When one person starts to sway under the weight of insecurity, the whole relationship can falter. Insecurity in a relationship can manifest in a multitude of ways. It might look like constant suspicion, a need for reassurance, or a fear of abandonment. The victim mentality, on the other hand, can show up as a refusal to take responsibility for actions and feelings and a tendency to blame others for personal unhappiness. Imagine a couple where one partner is always questioning the other's loyalty, demanding to know where they've been and who they've been with. This is insecurity at play. The constant doubt and suspicion can erode trust, leading to a relationship that's more about policing than partnership. Now, let's take another scenario. Picture a partner who acts off impulse based off an insecure assumption, which is then proven to be incorrect, but then they still refuse to accept accountability for anything that they said or did out of their impulsive angry behavior, always pointing fingers at their significant other for their own dissatisfaction. This is the victim mentality. It can create an environment of resentment where one person feels unfairly burdened and attacked while the other feels perpetually wronged. These behaviors can turn a relationship into a battlefield where love and understanding are replaced by blame and resentment. It's a cycle that can be tough to break, as the insecure individual might not even realize they're perpetuating it. Their insecurity blinds them, making them believe that they're the victims and others are the villains. But the truth is, no one is the villain in this story. Insecurity and the victim mentality are the real culprits. They're the invisible enemies that can turn even the most loving relationships into war zones. So it's essential to recognize these traits within ourselves and our partners. By acknowledging our insecurities and the victim mentality, we can begin to address them and seek healthier ways of relating to one another. Insecurities can create a toxic cycle that's tough to break, but not impossible. Breaking free from insecurities and the victim mentality is no easy task, but it is possible. It's like scaling a mountain. The journey is tough, the climb is steep, but the view from the top is worth every step. The first step on this journey is self-awareness. It's about recognizing that your insecurities and victim mentality are not just hurting you, but those around you. It's about understanding that you are not a puppet controlled by the strings of your past or your fears. You are the puppeteer, and you have the power to cut those strings and move freely. Next, don't be afraid to seek professional help. There's a certain strength in admitting that you need assistance Therapists and counsellors are trained to help you navigate your emotions, understand your triggers and transition from a victim mentality to a victor mentality. Remember, it's not a sign of weakness to ask for help, but rather a sign of strength to accept it. Open communication is another key in breaking free. Keeping your feelings bottled up only amplifies your insecurities. Express your emotions, your fears, your doubts to someone you trust. It could be a friend, a family member or a professional. When you voice your insecurities, you strip them of their power over you. Practicing empathy is equally important. Try to understand the perspectives of others. Often we are so caught up in our own narratives 
that we fail to see the full picture. Understanding others can help reduce the blame game and foster healthier relationships. Finally, remember to be patient with yourself. Change doesn't happen overnight. It's a process, a journey, and there will be bumps along the way. Don't let setbacks discourage you. Instead, see them as opportunities to learn and grow. Remember, change begins with you. It's about making the choice every day to step out of the shadows of your insecurities and into the light of self-love and acceptance. It's about reclaiming your power, your worth, and your freedom. Because you deserve nothing less. Insecurity and the victim mentality can have a profound impact on an individual and their relationships. We've explored the seven telltale traits of such behavior and how they can wreak havoc on personal connections. The path to breaking free lies in recognition and action. By acknowledging these signs and making conscious efforts to change, one can shatter the chains of insecurity and victimhood. Recognize the signs, make the change and break free from the insecurity trap. You have the power to improve your relationships and your life. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe and click the notification bell to be notified on future presentations.